one of the things you can add to your hobbies is uh, visiting museums. Listening to music or uh, reading world literature is as important. But for today, let's stick to art. It doesn't matter what your profession is. Every experience you have in life will only add a, a delightful embellishment to your daily activities. Just like reading books or listening to music, looking at a piece of art can be as rewarding as any activity. People always tell you to get better at what you do or become a better version of yourself. But rarely have I seen somebody suggest that before we think about becoming the better versions of ourselves, let's figure out what the fundamental version is before we try to change it. What does art have to do with who we are? I've always felt at home at the Renaissance or Baroque section of the museum, even the medieval section. It's always been relaxing to stand in front of a Renaissance painting and just become absorbed by the piece. Besides the fact that the pieces were masterfully executed, I never really understood why it felt so relaxing and good to be there to look at the painting. The essence of their work was to show the extremities of the human ego. They showed us that the world wasn't always a pleasant place to live in because humans failed to evolve internally. Human evolution was mainly, and still is, a materialistic one. How can we get more things? Or let's figure out genius ways to make things, make machines or technological advancements so that we can get more things. So the main interest of human evolution was directed outward and the revered guides of humanity, religion, and now science were successful in diverging us from the inner path, inward absorption, true knowledge. Nothing much has changed. We used to ride a donkey to go from point A to point B. Now the donkey has wings. And it's still the same donkey, just a little bit faster to travel from point A to point B. We have greedily expanded outwardly, but alas, I remained internally contracted, oblivious, and unaware of our inner reality. The brilliant and masterfully complex techniques of the Renaissance artists did not overshadow their inner awareness of reality. They tried informing us in many ways. There were and still are some sane artists that try pointing us to the right direction through art, but the technological advancement of humanity has abstracted the view. Humanity remains a collective organism drowning in materialism. Even spiritual practices have become materialistic. How can I pray to get what I want? So here's what you do. Go to a museum, find a piece of art from Renaissance or Baroque or Middle Ages, stand in front of it, study it, look at composition, color, technique, story. Don't worry about understanding what the artists try to convey. Find your own interpretation of what it can mean. Then find the same painting in art history books or you can Google it, but I prefer books. And read the art historian's interpretation of the same painting. Keep studying, keep thinking about it, get as much information about it as you can, become absorbed by it. Let it consume your thought process and fill up your consciousness. Live with it. Filter it through your own mind and eventually come up with your own interpretation. Do all this and see if you can discover something about yourself that you hadn't seen before. See how that changes how you do your job, how you do your daily activities, how you interact with others, so on and so forth. Good luck.